All right, so it's Storm Week here on 10 News, and I want to talk about the spaghetti plots that you always hear us talking about. Multiple lines representing model runs that track the center of the low pressure system, the tropical system that we're tracking, just the center. So I figured, why don't we go ahead and just use what we're looking at right now? These are the models right now for Alberto, and you can see each one of these lines with a different color is a different model. The GFDL, the AVN, the, the HWARF, the BAMS model, those are all completely different models, math equations essentially, weather models, that say, hey look, this is where we think it's going to go, and of course they agree usually near the beginning of the track, but then they start to disagree as we move on. Now there's another way of doing it, we tend to lean towards this a lot. This right here, all of these lines is just from one model, the GFS. We call this the ensembles. And what it is, each one of these is part of the GFS, but they change the physics just a little bit. They say, value the heat a little bit more. The high pressure over here is a little bit stronger. Small adjustments, they kind of give you an idea of what the model is thinking. So instead of having just one line that represents the GFS, we have multiple lines and we can start to notice a little bit in the way of trends. And they don't always match up with the Hurricane Center forecast, which would be right up in here. The GFS, you can see, is a little to the west, actually curves a little bit quicker as well, too. And we kind of watch that and see if the storm's getting a better idea on it. So more than just a bunch of lines out there, we're actually looking at those lines in different ways to figure out where we think that storm is going to go.